Hello everyone, welcome to another video, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. What if season 1 has finally ended with its last episode, what if the Watcher broke his oath? This video will contain the spoilers for the entire season. What if? So this episode was cool, still not the best, but wasn't as disappointing as the last few episodes. I do have some problems about it, but I still like this episode. It was epic. The episode begins with the scene we saw in the Winter Soldier, but with Captain Carter. Damn it, Lego, I thought this was one of your stupid inaccurate figures, but turns out it was really accurate. Damn it, I should have bought it. Then we see the Watcher and Strange recruiting other heroes like T'Challa, Gamora, Partithor? Kemonger? Why? I mean, seriously, I'm sure there are way better heroes than that. With the multiverse, I'm pretty sure there is way more powerful version of Thor than the absolute killer we saw in Infinity War. But why party Thor? Just for comic relief? And why Kimonger? It was obvious he was gonna betray, and I don't get how we needed so many heroes to fight Thanos in Endgame, but the Watcher only caught 6 heroes to fight this supervillain that could end the entire time, space, reality. So that's really weird. And it's really unfortunate how Tony and Gamora's episode got delayed to season 2 because of the pandemic. I'm sure many were confused. Also, I don't get the whole stone crusher thing. It looks like it works with the power of the stone since only the power of a stone can destroy the stones. So, if they got the source stone of Ultron's universe to destroy other stones from his universe, why doesn't it work? I think I have to wait for season 2 to actually know more about this stone crusher. But for now, it feels like a plot whore. But other than that, the story was okay. It was cool, actually. I absolutely love Strange Scream, and Black Widow being part of episode 3's universe really excites me for season 2. And the after credits scene was shocking because this might be an indication that Steve Rogers might be the Winter Soldier of this universe. And since episode 1, I told everyone I knew how interesting it would be if Steve Rogers becomes the Winter Soldier of that universe. The animations were great, I really liked the action scenes, especially the scene where all the heroes fight Ultron together. It was fast, it was epic, there was also this amazing shot where they focus on the sword stone while the characters try to get it. Absolutely love it. Hearing the voices of Haley Atwell, Chadwick Boseman, Michael B. Jordan, Chris Hemsworth, Benedict Cumberbatch, Tom Hiddleston, Simon A. Jackson, and Kurt Russell were really cool. Although Tom Hiddleston, Simon A. Jackson, and Kurt Russell only appeared for a second. And this was the last time Chadwick will ever play T'Challa, it breaks my heart. So this episode was cool, definitely flawed, but really really cool. So I will give this episode 7 out of 10, didn't really disappoint me, so yeah. And the entire season overall, I will give it 6 out of 10. Some episodes were lame, but definitely a cool thing to see from Marvel. I hope they explore and tell us more stories in season 2, and I hope they don't make plot tours anymore in season 2. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this review, go check out my other videos as well and I have a full playlist of all my what if reviews, so check that out. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.